Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this uh, screencast, I'd like to give you a quick overview of the WordGuess game and go over some of the settings with you. Let me go ahead and publish it, and let's go ahead and preview how it works. All right, that was the splash screen. Um, you'll notice that there was some intro audio that was playing, a little music. That can be changed if you want to upload your own audio in there. I'll show you how to do that in another screencast. Um, introduction text on this screen, um, all that can be changed within the template. You can also add narration uh, audio if you'd like to. You'll notice here's the first question. This game is very similar to um, like a hangman type approach. Um, you'd ask a question up here, and then the user would need to guess the letters um, that would go in the answer um, here. So let's go and select a few letters. They get it wrong, three X's will, will display up here. The first one illuminated, and the second one, and if they get another one wrong, then it gives you the answer, and you'd move on to the next question or word. Now, if you get them right, it fills in the blanks there. And then you'd get some remediation that says that that word's correct. Um, you'll notice that there's a countdown timer over here. Um, that countdown timer can be set within the settings. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. And also these red X's up here, you can actually add or take away X's as well. So if you'd like your user to have a few more options of getting a few um, more incorrect, you can. Um, also the words here, you can have a single word or multiple words, a whole phrase. Um, it will wrap around to make it two lines of words. I believe that is 31 characters is your max, um, including your spaces. So let's go ahead and dive into the settings, and I'll show you how to change a few things on this game. Um, to do the to modify the settings of the games, you'll want to go on the timeline. Um, I've got this uh, opened up in Adobe Flash CS5, um, and I'm on a Mac, so if things look a little bit different, that may be why. Um, I've got the game here on my stage, I've got my timeline up here on the top, and my library is over here on the right. So to look at the code or the settings, um, what you want to do is go into your actions layer on the timeline and just make sure you highlight that little A um, on the keyframe there. Now we're going to open up our actions panel. If yours is not open, you can go up to the top and go window and make sure you got actions checked. Now this is where all the settings of the game are. Um, so we have our overall game settings here. Um, so if you'd like to randomize your questions, you can set this to true or false. The number of questions, we have it defaulted to 5, but you can go all the way up to 20 if you'd like. Um, the max amount of incorrects that you can have per question. So this is set 1 through 10. So if you'd like to have 10 red X's so that your users can get up to 10 incorrect choices, you can set that here. Now we're on our game sound settings. These are our overall game sounds. Um, so if you'd like to just turn them all off, you can say false on this. Um, the start underscore S and D, this represents the starting game sound, uh, the music at the very beginning. You'll notice that there's explanations on the side right here. Um, our overall sound, or sorry, over sound and our click sound, that's for our buttons. And then our incorrect and correct sounds are right here. Now you can upload your own sounds and put them in here. Another tutorial I'll show you how to um, actually change the sounds and modify those to your own, your own uh, choices. Now if we go down to our individual word options, um, you'll notice that you need to make sure that you keep it under 31 characters. And you can replace where I have, by default we have your word. You can uh, just type in anything you like in here and you can add your spaces in there if you like also. Um, also under each one of these, these uh, questions you'll notice that there is a time that you can allocate for your users so you can change that to you know anything you'd like to allow a certain amount of seconds for your learners to actually try to guess that word and if they don't guess it in time then it'll, it'll just automatically give it to them and tell them to move on to the next question. Each question also has a sound narration file and that's so that you can add narration to your questions. So that's a quick overview of the WordGuess game and a few of the settings. Um, other tutorials listed will uh, show you actually how to modify the content and really make this game your own customized game.